And the World Series matchup between the Dodgers and the Yankees comes, as Jamie just mentioned, with so much history and with star power. Joining us now live to break down what we can look forward to as the first game kicks off is MLB Network broadcaster John Morrissey. Thanks so much for being with us so early in the morning. Thank you. Happy World Series Game 1. Happy World <laughs> Series Game 1. Go Dodgers. Okay, so the Yankees haven't won a World Series in 15 years. The Dodgers in four years. How will these teams be approaching the first game, you think? It's a great question. I think that we'll certainly see superstars all over the place in, in this matchup. And, and as you point out, with the Yankees not having won a World Series in 15 years, that's a long time by their standards. It's actually one of the longer droughts they've ever had as an organization. Of course, they've got the most World Series championships of any franchise in Major League Baseball and actually in North American pro sports. And I love that whenever you talk Dodgers, Yankees, you go back to those black and white uh, videos of the 1955 World Series uh, where the Dodgers won their first championship. There, of course, you see Fernando Valenzuela uh, pitching against the Yankees as well. There's so much history here, and yet for a lot of Dodger fans, a lot of Yankee fans, it's going to be the first time we have seen these two teams match up in the World Series in our lifetime. So it's just an extraordinary historical moment. I do think there are even still some Dodger fans, of course, still in New York that are old enough to remember what it was like when the Dodgers won that 1955 championship as well. So uh, I, I do think whenever you talk about the global reach as well, Otani and Judge, there are going to be people tuning into this World Series game one all over the world. And of course, game one beginning at eight o'clock Eastern time means it's about 8 a.m. in Japan. So I think it's going to be a great uh, matchup there. Saturday morning, a lot of viewers joining us all around the world. I know the, the Japan angle is so interesting and just the economic impact alone. Um, but there are a record number of former MVPs in the series. There are six of them, including Clayton Kershaw, who is not on the postseason roster. Who's leading your predictions for the honor? I would say in terms of World Series MVP, I've got to go with either Otani if the Dodgers win, and then I'll say John Carlos Stanton continuing his run as an amazing Yankee. Of course, right now you would expect that for the 2024 MVPs, uh, by the by unanimous, I would say, acclamation, you'll see Otani win it on the National League side and then Judge win it on the American League side. But we have seen John Carlos Stanton, who I love, of course, is an L.A. native. Uh, he'll be there starring for the Yankees. He's the reigning American. American League Championship Series MVP on, on that side of things there for, for the Yankees. I would say, too, one of my favorite stories as well is for Garrett Cole, a UCLA Bruin. He's going to be starting on the mound for the Yankees, who are managed by a USC Trojan and Aaron Boone. And then with Tommy Edmond, the NLCS MVP for the Dodgers, his mother, Maureen, was born to Korean immigrants in L.A., and she fell in love with baseball by watching the Dodgers, by listening to Vin Scully, and now her son, Tommy Edmond, is representing the Dodgers as, as the NLCS MVP. So it's just, it's wonderful, the number of storylines here. We just have an absolute, it's like a holiday buffet of amazing <laughs> stories of all these different players uh, in storylines, and I just can't wait to see who emerges now as, as the biggest star of all during the Fall Classic. I know the storylines are so rich. There's uh, so much to explore. It, it, it's a cornucopia of stories, let's say. John Morsi, thank you so much for joining us this morning. Go, go Dodgers. And the series will be Enjoy. one to remember. Don't forget the game oh, starts yeah. at 5.08 our time.